Hey everybody, Joe Burnage with Big West Marketing, bringing you more tips and strategies to get more business from the internet for your small business. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature that Google just introduced for Google My Business. It's called the services feature. You can actually go in and list your services within your Google My Business page. So let's get started on that right now. Okay, so here I am at Google. I'm gonna log into Big West Marketing Google My Business account. So I go to business.google.com. That's how you get there. And you're gonna see on the on the left hand side, I'm gonna click on info. Okay, on the left panel. Now if you scroll down, you're gonna see this new feature called services. This was not there a couple weeks ago, now it is. And so you're going to click on that. And you're going to see this section where you can actually start adding the different fee uh, services that you offer. So you can see what I've done so far is I've added uh, search engine optimization as a section. Okay, so kind of like a category. So if I was going to do a new one, I'd go add section. And then let's say I would do uh, social media as a service. Okay, and then you can add items within the section. So specific, more specifically, uh, Facebook ads. Okay, and then another one, and then I click add. Okay, another one I would do would be like um, Facebook page setup. Okay, and then if I wanted to start adding other specifics to social media, then I would. Okay, and you can see I've got it for web design. I've got it for search engine optimization. You can do the same for your business depending on what kind of services you offer. So for example, you could have a section for commercial services and list all the specific commercial services you offer. And then another one for residential services and list all your residential services. That's just an example. Now, I want to make a word of caution here. Caution, caution, caution. What you do not want to do is start putting a bunch of spammy keywords in here just to get rankings on Google. We don't even know how, how this will affect rankings yet, but I can almost guarantee that if you start stuffing these with a bunch of just keywords and make it look spammy, then you're probably going to get penalized. I believe Google is out there fishing for this kind of stuff. So caution on that, all right? What we're trying to do is, is build trust with Google. The last thing you want to do is tear down that trust. You do not want your trust to crumble with Google. So if we're talking about SEO, then, then that's super important. I want you to make sure you understand that completely. All right, and the next thing I want to show you is, so, so check this out. If we go to the desktop computer and we type in Big West Marketing, and you're going to see my little panel here that shows all my business information. You're going to notice that on the desktop or on a computer, laptop, whatever, it's not going to show the new services I just added. Okay, But if I pull it up on my smartphone, let me grab my iPhone here, and uh, you see I've got the same little panel there that shows up on my phone, but there's this little option for menu. Okay, And that's where your services are going to be located on menu. So I click menu and there you can see, hopefully you can see that in the camera, but just know that it added all those services that I that I um, placed in here. Okay. And so what does that tell me? That tells me that this whole mobile first revolution uh, revolution where where every everything needs to be designed or dedicated first towards a mobile phone since 80% of the people that find you whether it's a website, whether it's on Google, whether it's on Facebook, I don't care. 80% are going to be on their smartphone. So let's start getting in the habit of designing everything towards smartphone. Let's start anytime you make a change to your business, Google My Business, your website, it needs to be First, um, considered what it's going to look like on a smartphone. That's so important. And you can see the proof here. Google is showing it only on a smartphone. They're not even giving you an option to see it on a desktop. So the mobile first stuff that I've been talking about, if you've seen my other videos, is super important. All right. So that's it. That's the new services feature. I want you guys to be aware of it, how to add it. Of course, if you are an SEO client of ours, we are going to do this for you. So you don't need to worry about it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it correctly. In okay, case so you don't need to call an email if you're a current um, paying SEO client of Big West Marketing. Okay. Now, uh, 
what I want to say is there are other features that Google is now implementing into the Google My Business account that I'm going to be um, talking about in the coming weeks. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do that because I'm going to start putting these out. If you're not on my email list, make sure you get on the email list so that you can get updates every Friday when I put these videos out. So next time we're going to be talking about the new Q&A fe uh, feature on Google My Business where people can um, do question and answers with you, the business owner. Uh, there's another their, um, attributes uh, tag section that we're going to be talking about. There's all these new things coming out. I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to stay on top of this stuff so that you don't have to, but make sure you stay tuned to my coming videos and coming email blasts. All right. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with BigWestMarketing.com. If you're interested in working with us, we can give you a free 30-minute consultation that is 406 Four nine three one eight eight one, or just click on the click on the link at the end of this video, and you can fill out a form, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, Joe Burnich, BigWestMarketing.com. Talk to you soon.